I am so nervous. Good morning, guys. I gathered you here today to tell you that today I am getting a lip flip. I want to kind of explain what that is because I feel like some people think it's like plastic surgery or something, but it's really like not that serious. So basically all it is, is they put Botox in these three areas to just kind of like relax and flip your upper lip to make it appear bigger. So it's not filler or anything. They're not like adding anything. You can tell my big lip is kind of like, it's kind of full and my upper lip is just not as full. So it'll kind of like make them even. It's going to be very subtle. I have never gotten anything done before. I am a little bit nervous. I am not doing this because I'm like insecure. I think my lips are ugly or anything like that. If that were the case, I would not get it done and I would just deal with my insecurity. But honestly, I just think it's gonna be fun and I'm so curious. And like I said, it's gonna be subtle, so it's not gonna be like a big change or anything like that. This only lasts for six weeks, so if I hate it, it goes away in six weeks. Filler, I think, lasts like six months. Um, and they also add things. This is just taking my natural lip, relaxing it to curl it up. I also can dissolve it the day of if I hate it, which is today. So if I hate it, they can dissolve it and it's very, very undoable. Another difference between filler and a lip flip is the price. I think what I'm getting done today is like $40. I think that filler is like 600. I'm not sure um, what the prices are for where I'm going. I did a lot of research because I'm not trying to end up watched. So I'm going to a place called Medical Aesthetics in Greenville and the doctor seems really amazing. All of his work looks extremely natural, which is like obviously what you want. But I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along wish me luck all right boys and girls i am here i was like going back and forth on whether or not i wanted to vlog this and then i was like i don't really care because it's like so casual only last six weeks and also i just want to be a real person like i hate when people do stuff like this and they're like what no i've never what like it's not a big deal whatever You guys, that was literally the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. So all he did, he poked twice here and poked twice here, and that's literally it. It actually took a total of 20 seconds. It didn't even hurt. I'm confused because I was really hyping this up in my head, and it's, like, completely normal. Anyway, there's no, like, downtime for this. The only thing he said is I might have a hard time, like, drinking out of straws for a day. But other than that, there's no downtime. I honestly kind of feel like you can already see a difference. I don't know. It ended up being $88, four units total, two on this side and two on this side, and there's no recovery or anything like that. He said I'll see the full effects in one week, so I'm gonna give you guys a one week update. The fit of the day that no one asked for. It has been one week since I got my lip flip. I am wearing some lip gloss right now, so I'm going to show you guys a before and after of me wearing no makeup. As you can tell in those photos, you can definitely tell a difference. But before I give my full review, I do want to say that Dr. Brian, the one who did my lips, did already tell me all of this could happen. So I didn't take you by surprise or anything. But it is kind of hard for me to chew my food. If I take a small bite, it's okay. But if I take a medium to large bite, it feels like my food's gonna fall out of my mouth. And the same thing with like, drinking out of the side of a cup, it feels like it might come out of my mouth. Um, so it's kind of like an uncomfortable feeling. And then the last thing is when I spit, like when I'm brushing my teeth, it's hard for me to aim my upper lip to get it to where I want it to go. Definitely a weird feeling. It's not necessarily bad. I can definitely tell a difference, a very natural, subtle difference. But because of those reasons, I'm not gonna do it again. My advice to you would be, if you really do wanna see a difference in your lip, I probably would just skip this and go straight, straight to filler. 
I'm not gonna get filler just because I'm not that dedicated and um, I liked my lips before. I really just did this for fun and just and to see what the difference would be. If you don't wanna experience that like tension in your top lip, I would probably just skip it and go to filler. It would see much more of a difference that way as well. So yeah, that's my full review. Thank you guys for watching. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this week. So please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this review and this video. Have the best week. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that